indices of planes. Consider the planes with indices 1, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1. The lattice is face-centered cubic and the indices refer to the conventional cubic cell. What are the indices of these planes when referred to the primitive axis given in the figure below? So you can see that we have uh, three primitive translation vectors, A1, A2, and A3, that point from the corner atom to the atoms at the three face centers, as you can see here. And um, the distance between the corner atom and the face center would be A square root 2 over 2, given that the lattice constant is A. Okay, so... Uh, First, let's recognize what these primitive translation vectors are. The A1 vector is uh, the one that's here at the bottom. It's on the xy plane. So it is A over 2 x hat plus y hat. A2 vector so x hat and y hat are my unit vectors. A2 vector is on the yz plane. So it would be a over 2 y hat plus z hat. a over 2 y hat plus z hat. And a3 vector. a3 vector is on the xz plane. As you can see here, that's the green one. So this would be a over 2 x hat plus z hat. So these x hat, y hat, z hat are unit vectors on x, y, z axes respectively. Okay, so the planes that we're talking about, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1, uh, first we have to recognize what those are. Those are the planes that will intersect the x-axis at uh, one lattice constant A. So 1, 0, 0 plane is basically running parallel uh, to the um, yz plane. So you can see here, and it is intercepting uh, x-axis at uh, one lattice constant a so that is the uh, red plane here it's the one zero zero plane that's perpendicular to the x-axis zero zero one plane intercepts the z-axis at one lattice constant and it is uh, running parallel uh, to the xy plane so it doesn't it has no intercept with x and y axis or intercept it intercepts at infinity uh, so we're going to have 0, 0, 1. So that's this blue plane. Now we have to find the intercepts of these planes with the A1, A2 and A3 axes. So let's start with 1, 0, 0 plane. Uh, 1, 0, 0 plane intercepts has an inter intersection with the A1 plane. So it's going to intersect the A1 axis where? So let's look at this 1, 0, 0 plane. A1 axis, you can see there's one A1 vector, two A1 vectors. Then I have the intersection at point, uh, at, a, at a corner atom. Uh, or corner lattice point as you can see here so that's one a1 and then the if you follow the uh, dashed uh, vector another a1 vector from the face center to the corner atom that's two a1 so it's going to intersect it at two a1 uh, on the other hand one zero zero plane uh, intersects the a3 axis at so let's look at the A3. So I need to go two A3s in order to reach this plane. So it's going to intersect at two A3. 
and does it intersect the a2 axis this plane does not intersect the a2 axis there's no intersection the intercept is at infinity okay so let's see a2 is basically on the yz plane and we are parallel to the yz plane so there's no intersection okay so let's find these intersection points uh, so at 2a1 we are at a distance uh, 2a square root 2 over uh, 2 from the origin uh, a2 we have intercept at infinity for a3 we have 2 a square root 2 over 2 uh, now this will be we have to find the reciprocals so the twos will cancel here we will have 1 over a square root 2 1 over infinity 1 over a square root 2 so this is going to give us 1 over a square root 2 0 1 over a square root 2 and if I multiply it with a square root 2 I will obtain 1 0 1 so therefore I find that the indices referred to the primitive axis are 1 0 1 so this will be my answer for the first one and let's look at the second one as well so similarly for the second plane We're going to do the same exercise. So where does the 0, 0, 1 plane intersect the A2 axis? So it's going to intersect the A2 axis Let me see, A2 is on the YZ plane, so I have to go two A2s in order to reach this plane. So it's going to intersect at uh, two A2. And this plane will intersect the A3 axis, A3 axis at so let's see here, A3 is on the XZ plane, so I have to go two A3s. So it's going to be at two A3. And then this plane does not intersect the A1 axis. There is no intercept. Because <clears throat> A1 axis is on the xy plane, A1 vector is on the xy plane, but uh, we are parallel to the xy plane. So there's no interception, uh, there's no intercept. Okay, so, uh, so if I write the intersection points, infinity for A1, uh, 2a square root 2 over 2 for A2, 2a square root 2 over Two, so that's the intersection uh, point, the intercept. And if I take the reciprocals, I will obtain 1 over infinity, 1 over a square root 2, 1 over a square root 2. And that will become 1 over infinity is 0, 1 over a square root 2, 1 over a square root 2. I multiply it with the a square root 2 to obtain 0, 1, 1. So, therefore, the indices 
referred to the primitive axis are 0, 1, 1. Okay, so to summarize, we're trying to find the indices of 1, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1 planes in the face-centered cubic uh, conventional uh, cell uh, as referred to the primitive axes. Uh, the primitive axes are defined by three vectors, a over 2 x hat plus y hat, a over 2 y hat plus c hat, and a over 2 x hat plus c hat. First, we recognized in the conventional cubic cell what these 1, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1 planes are. 1, 0, 0 plane is the plane that has an intercept with the x-axis at one lattice constant. And 0, 0, 1 is the plane that has an intercept with the z-axis at one lattice constant. Uh, and there's no, for the 1, 0, 0 plane, it runs parallel to the y-z plane. And 0, 0, 1 plane runs parallel to the x-y plane. And we find the intersection with the A1, A2, and A3 axes. For 1, 0, 0 plane, uh, we have to consider uh, A1. So 2A1 is going to intersect the XY plane, and 2A3 is going to intersect the XY plane. But there is no intersection with A2 because it's running parallel to the, uh, it's on the YZ plane. So we, we find that this is going to be 1, 0, 1. And for 0, 0, 1, we find uh, 2A2 and uh, 2A3 are going to intersect uh, this one. But A1 vector is on the XY plane, so it's, it will have no intercept. So we will find 0, 1, 1, because it will be 1 over infinity, 1 over A square root 2 and 1 over A square root 2. So we multiply with the uh, with a square root two to obtain the Miller indices zero one one.